Hello everyone and welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today we are going to be taking a quick look at the camera system so that you can get in the skies as soon as possible. If you are looking for a detailed look at the camera system, this is not the video for you. I do not recommend watching this video for that. This is for anybody who wants to get in the skies as soon as possible and understand how the camera system works as quickly as possible. So without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, I have activated the drop-down menu right now, and I have the camera selected. So we're going to start with the GUI really quickly. So the GUI, you have the cockpit camera, the external camera, and the showcase camera. The two cameras that you're probably going to be using the most are the cockpit camera and the external camera, unless you are going to be doing cinematic shots. In this case, you would probably use the showcase camera. For the cockpit camera, it's in the cockpit. You can set between being in a fixed look or a free look right here. You will probably never choose free look though because as soon as you right click on the screen and move your mouse around then the camera starts moving automatically and enters free look mode. Then you can choose here between being in the upper position or the lower position. This can also be done with the space bar by default. So if you press space then you're switched to an upper position. You press it again then you're in a lower position. Smart camera is pretty much a camera that chooses what it thinks that you should be focusing on. So if I enable that right here, it thinks I should be focusing forward, that's good. But it is pretty buggy, so I wouldn't recommend using it right now. Then you have the zoom type. You can choose between manual and automatic. I highly recommend using manual. All you have to do in order to change your view is use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. If you're in automatic, as soon as you switch to another panel or another area, the zoom will automatically adjust in order to make sure that you have the best zoom level. However, it is pretty finicky and I do not recommend it. In addition to using the mouse wheel to zoom, you can also adjust it right here. Then you can choose the free look speed, and this is the speed in which when you right click on the screen and you move around, this is how fast it moves. So increasing that will make it so it goes faster. Decreasing will make it so it goes slower. 50% is pretty nice though. Then the free look momentum is as soon as you stop, you stop right clicking. Uh, you notice how it still goes off to the right a little bit. That's what this is. So if you don't want that at all, you put it all the way down to zero. If you do want it, you put it all the way up to 100, and then it is very, very exaggerated. Then you have these drop-down menus here. So you have a few pre-selected views. These are in pilot and instrument. You cannot change these. You can change the quick view. We'll get into that in a moment. But for pilot view, these are all the pilot views that Microsoft has decided you might need when you first get into the simulator. So you can be in pilot view, which we are right now, landing view, close view, or co-pilot view right here, and then instruments. These are a bunch of preset instrument views right here. So you have one, two, three, four, and five. And then we get into the quick views, which are the interesting part. Quick views you can set by setting a key binding. So you can choose where you want them to be. For instance, I have one set to here, two set to here, which is really handy when I don't have this in the way. And then I have five set to here and eight set to here so that I can see my wing. In order to do these, you need to go into your menu system, go to controls, uh, and then choose what you're going to be using. I recommend using the keyboard and that's what we're going to be using to demonstrate this feature. You go into camera, then you go into cockpit camera. So you have the load here, so I have this, so it's just set for my normal number keys, not my numpad keys. Um, and these are what you press in order to switch your preset views. So this is load custom camera and this is in cockpit camera in the camera area. Then if you go down here, you have save, and then you press this key or this key combination in order to save a view. So in, by default, I believe it is set to control and then the number, but I have switched it to my F keys because this is what I use in X-Plane, and it's really nice to quickly get the controls all down. In order to move around, I showed you that you can look around the cockpit by right-clicking on the screen and then moving your mouse around. But in order to go left and right and up and down, you need to use controls like the co translate cockpit view backwards and translate cockpit view forward. I have these set to the default X-Plane one, so that's period and comma here for forward and backward. Unlike X-Plane, this does not go in the direction that you are facing. So you do need to do some additional controls. That's why I have A and D here, and then I have up and down here as well in order to change those. So that will allow you to move around the cockpit and set whatever view you would like. And then if you would like to do any other minor changes here, uh, then you can put these controls right here. So any control that's in the cockpit is right here under the cockpit camera. And they're pretty self-explanatory, but if you are confused, you can always just 
try something out. I do want to point out though, there are a lot of key bindings. So when you're changing these, if you do decide to change them, keep that in mind. It will warn you when you have a different one, you should probably change them. Another really handy thing right here is the cockpit external view mode. So when you press this button, or in this case, I have it also set to my joystick, then this will switch between external and internal. And this is really great for getting quick shots um, in the outside of the airplane. So once you have all of that set, that you, then you can set your views. So let's say I want to set something for F3. So I'm going to move over here, uh, click F3, now if I go back to the pilot view, I can press 3 right here and I'll go back to where I was before. Super handy. This also works when you're in the external camera. So if I'm right here and I want to quickly hop into the cockpit, um, I can just press the button. For the external camera, you have the same controls here. You have the smart camera, zoom type, zoom level, um, and all of those speed things. And then you have the default view, which is this one, which just allows you to move around and then a bunch of pre-selected views right here. Unfortunately, you cannot change these quick views right now. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing, but I'm sure that Microsoft will get to doing that at some point. So for now, you just need to click these and I couldn't find a place in the menu system as well uh, where you could switch between these really quickly. What you can switch between really quickly is let's say that you really like instrument number three. If you go into the menu system, go back into controls and then go into camera, then you can choose which keys you click in order to switch to an instrument view. So that has been a quick look at the camera system in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them below. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and if you like this video, please give it a like. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next Microsoft Flight Simulator video.